Eating Cyberdogs! This is Ren Dog coming at you from deep underground in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were on an epic caving adventure, filling up our inventory with epic loot such as 30 diamonds, a few stacks of iron ore, almost a stack of gold, and a whole bunch more, man. We are absolutely loaded right now. Look at how much loot we've got, guys. We've even got a Fire Aspect 2 Enchanted Book and even some Iron Ingots, man. This has been an absolutely insane caving mission. But guys, you know what? I'm getting really nervous. Whenever we get this much loot in our inventory, our chances of death in exponentially increase. It's a fact. Everybody knows it. The more loot that Rendog gets, the more chance he has of dying. So guys, let's get our asses out of this place ASAP and back to the mole hole as quickly as humanly possible. Now, we've got a bit of a problem, guys. We don't really know how to get back home other than using our compass. I brought along the compass over here, so why don't we get that in our bottom row. Um, where that red arrow is pointing is the direction that we need to head. That arrow points back to our spawn location. And of course, guys, because the mole hole is pretty close to spawn, all we got to do is get in the near vicinity of spawn, and we will kind of know um, that we are really close to the mole hole. However, the last time we came on an adventure here via that nether portal temple in the, um, in the, the nether fortress, we ended up below an ocean. And guys, I'm pretty sure we're about to hit ocean again. Look at this. This looks like, oh my goodness, this looks like clay. So I'm assuming the ocean is right above here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, how are we going to do this, man? We need to swim up as fast as possible. Um, I'm assuming this is going to break into the ocean. Yes, swim, 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 swim. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? Oh man, this is one of those islands. This is one of those islands that we saw on the first time we came around. I think we named it Creeper Island, didn't we? Um, is this Creeper Island? It could be. Oh, there is a zombie ready to, ready. Take it, take it, butthole. Man, he, he's actually lucky, man. The sun was about to burn his ass. Okay, excellent. So this is a, um, a good place to come out. We didn't have to swim that far. So our chances of drowning there were reduced by the sweet ass island. Um, there's another skeleton over there. I might as well get the XP while we can. <laughs> Man, put him out of his misery. So guys, let's have a look at our compass. So our compass is pointing in this direction. Um, this is going to take us all the way back to spawn. So why don't we make um, a crafting table quickly and we'll put together a bit of a boat to get our asses back to the mole hole. Man, bringing a stack of jungle wood is just such a sweet idea. Um, this was an idea that one of you guys gave me, and I think it's just so smart, man. A stack of wood basically lets you do whatever you need, man. It, you know, from a stack of wood, you get a crafting table, you get boats, you get sticks, you get plankage. You basically basically get everything that you need. And um, let's just drop off. Let's put the boats in here. Okay, that's cool. And, and we will just leave the crafting table. We don't actually have to bring it with us because we've got a full stack of jungle wood that we can use. Um, it looks like our boat is stuck over here. Come on, boat! Come on, boat! <laughs> it's like the lottery, man. Oh god, I just, I just chucked my redstone into the ocean. Um, oh my goodness. You know, you know what we can be thankful for, guys? That there's no sharks in Minecraft. <laughs> if, there, if there were sharks in Minecraft, we would have been shark food long ago. So let's hop into the boat, guys, and let's head towards the red arrow of the compass. We're going to head all the way back to spawn. Now, the last time we did this journey, and here's another island. It looks like this could be Creeper Island. Um, the last time we did this journey, we discovered a desert temple, didn't we? So we should be actually um, seeing that desert temple on our way back to the mole hole. I'm thinking that uh, a sweet ass plan might be to, to build some sort of a town next to the desert temple. I'm thinking that maybe if you consider the mole hole the capital of the jungle uh, biome, maybe we could build another capital next to the desert temple and that could be um, the capital of the desert biome, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so that might be pretty sweet. You know, I, I remember the view and the area around the desert temple just being really freaking sweet. Um, there was like a lake there and I think there was a jungle quite close um, to the, the temple. So um, we will see. I mean, this this is all going to be determined by whether or not we actually find the temple or not. 
and if we're actually going in the right direction i mean i'm just it looks like according to that compass we're heading in the in the in the right direction um if i recall correctly we should be coming to a big like a cliff face or something it, it was like a massive cliff face wasn't it like a sand cliff face and uh, man these squids maybe know how to get there yo squiddy what's cracking dude yo do you know the way to the molehole hey dude whoa <laughs> there are oh, you bastards <laughs> they were engaged in some sort of uh unspeakable act and they just broke our boat freaking squids <laughs> oh my god i've never wanted to turn a squid into calamari so bad as i want to do it now we're gonna have to head over this to this island and make another boat oh man owned by a squid that was basically like uh <laughs> that was basically like davy jones stuff over there man our boat was engulfed by a giant squid. Ah, oh, you bastards. Once again, Mastodon would be proud of what just happened, man. If Mastodon watched this series, they'll be like, White Squid Holy Grail! <laughs> Alright, let's make another crafting table and another boat because of these damn squids. Man, never thought calamari could be dangerous, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's make four, uh, eight bits of wood and let's complete our boat just like this. And we are now wasting a little bit more wood. Oh, man, those freaking squids. Let's pick up that redstone, get in our boat, and carry on on our mission. Another crafting table wasted. But um, it'll be left there for aliens who will eventually visit this planet. And they'll be like, what is this strange wooden thing floating on this island? <laughs> Here, these are the cliffs I was talking about. Check it out, right? So these are like giant-ass cliffs. And I, I th this is, yeah, this is really close to the, um, to the desert temple. I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. Um, there's our boat. Okay, so it's definitely close. I'm just going to go straight into the wall, man. Bam! <laughs> okay, so let's get up onto the top of the surface. I'm pretty sure we will be spotting the desert temple. I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was kind of in this direction. Now, some of you guys have been saying in the previous video that I may have left gold at the uh, desert temple no i'm not entirely sure that is true i don't there it is okay sweet i don't remember leaving any gold at the desert temple but you never know i might have left some in the chests there so why don't we head over to the desert temple to check i know that we made like a mini mole hole right here in this mound over here like a pharaoh's mound basically and as you can see man the the uh, oh man it is such an awesome view around here i love this little bay area over here so and there's the, the jungle i was talking about I think we might have to come and build a city here of some kind, man. It is so awesome. All right, let's check in here. Oh, there's some iron ingots and some iron ore. Well, I definitely left something in here, but it doesn't look like gold. Let's go down into um, the excavation of this ancient temple. Bones and, and flesh. Bones and flesh. Yeah, there, there, there is, there's no gold here, guys. <laughs> man, you guys got my hopes up. I was like, man, there's going to be a stack of gold or something. The Cyberdog spotted it the last time I was here, but... It doesn't look like it's here, guys. All right, we will be returning to the mini mole hole at some future point. But guys, we have a long ass way to go home. Um, the last time we did this, I think, I mean, it took a couple minutes for us to get home. But this is just a beautiful area here. I mean, you know, really nice. I, I think we're going to have to consider building a railway network all the way out here from the mole hole. I mean, if for anything else, um, just the journey, man. The journey is going to be so awesome. Um, you know, there's so many different biomes here, and I think. I remember from the last time we traveled through some really cool canyons and stuff to get back. Um, but guys, I tell you what, man, this is going to take us a while to get back to the mole hole. So what I'm going to do is kick this puppy into fast forward mode. And I will see you on the other side of this completely. Enjoy the journey back to the mole hole, guys. We'll see you in a few minutes. Kaplooey!
All right, guys, I have just brought you back. We have just run past spawn, and there is our jungle. You can see it in on the horizon, the life tree sticking out above the jungle land, and man, it feels good to be home. Damn, that was an epic expedition, man. That was absolutely crazy, and our new pickaxe uh, claw did the business like nothing I've ever seen, man. It, he got us 30 diamonds, which is just unreal. And here, guys, we've just hit the farmlands. Man, it feels good to be home. Back to civilization. You know, when you've gone on a long holiday and you come home, it just feels so good to be back. Oh, man. Hello, cows. <laughs> How's it going, dudes? What's cracking? Moo to you too, sir. And check it out, man. The pigs and the sheep. Dude, you're in the wrong pen over there, man. It's, a, it's cute, but it's wrong. <laughs> and yeah, the sheep over here. Man, it feels so good to be back home. Cannot wait to get back into the mole hole to deposit all of our sweet ass loots. And man, have we got a bit of work to do before the end of this episode, guys. We need to get back up to the dogolith to get you guys on the doggo log up onto the dogolith. But I do believe that the dogolith is now actually completely... Um, oh, the, the, the second level of the dogolith is now completely filled up. And uh, that's pretty crazy to think about it. We have now made two floors worth of dogolith entries, which is just completely mad. So, um, well, I think what I'm going to do is actually head up to the forge rooms now and just get forging some of these. Oh my goodness, my bad. Um, start start smelting down some of these ores that we've brought back. And then I think what we'll do, guys, is head up to the dogolith and build another story up uh, there at, on the dogolith because oh, some taters. Nice. Don't mind if I do. And. Um, Let's get all the coal that we've come, that we've also collected on this journey into these furnaces. And there's another tater. Nice. Get into the smelting bellies of these furnaces, baby. Oh, man. There we go. Nice. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to quickly clean out my inventory, drop off all of our loots in the storage rooms, and I will bring you back on the other side of this very quick kaplam. Kaplam! Alright Cyberdogs, I have peeled off my sweaty armor, deposited all of our sweet ass loot and I am here in the kennels to feed the doggies man. We have been quite a, away quite a while and these doggies are hungry as hell man. Kitty, I'm sorry I don't have any fish for you and you're not going to like this raw meat so uh, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> but you look really happy, your tail's up, you've been eating mice and stuff around the mole hole so that is all good. Guys, why don't we head up to the dogolith, I've got a whole bunch of of um stone cobblestone fences i've got a crafting table some ladders we've got a little bit of work to do up there at the dogolith because we've got to make the third story of the dogolith absolutely crazy man i cannot believe that we have filled two stories worth of dogolith entries um when i first made the dogolith i just i couldn't even imagine um, building this many freaking stories it is absolutely crazy but i mean maybe what we need to do is just just increase the height of the second story. I mean, how many blocks is the first story? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first story is seven blocks high. Let's just have a look how high I've made the second story. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we still need to actually increase the height of the, um, the first story by two blocks. So let's get that done. And then what we'll do is just build the foundations of the third story. Man, unbelievable. It's going to be absolutely crazy, man. When, I mean, it's difficult to imagine, but the dogolith will eventually be higher than the life tree, which is just crazy. I'm, I mean, when that day comes, I'm going to look back at this video and just be like, wow, what the jazz. That is absolutely insane. Um, now, let's start on the third story. So this layer of cobblestone is going to be the third story. Um, so what we'll do is just complete the layer and then we'll, we need to make some slabbage. And, oh man, we can't make slabbage like this. We're going to have to drop down our um, crafting table. Now we can make some slabbage. So let's just get some slabbage up in our up in our bellies. And and now what we can do is just get off. Get out of my way, freaking crafting table, man. Come on. All right. So now what we need to do is just make a layer of slabbage just like this. And this is the third uh, story of the dogolith. Absolutely crazy, man. And I think we'll probably be... I'm um, working on the third story of the dogolith in, I mean, I mean, how, how, how many more slots do we have now on the dogolith? We've added two to, to each side. So we've, um, what the jazz is going on here? Um, so we've got another eight entries. We might be actually working on the new story of the dogolith in the next episode, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but that is awesome. So let's just get this done. Let's just get the platform all the way around. 
and then we can head down to the second story and get you guys from the doggo log onto the doggo lift <laughs> and uh, then we can put away the doggo log for now because it is time to get back to building mole city oh my goodness guys i'm so excited to get cracking on mole city we've got a whole bunch of gold now so we might even start building granny dog's monument can we actually see it from here let's have a look oh man check it that check it the view looking epic oh my goodness i cannot wait to get back to crafting this what i want to work on next is the sewers i think um the sewers that are going to run under each of the the main roads and then underneath the sewers will be an underground metro that will connect to grand mole hall station so we'll have a, a line going under the the um the mole hall again and probably coming in here connecting to mole city and we'll have a, a metro station or something like that uh, somewhere pretty close so that is going to be sweet and i tell you what guys why don't we just add one more layer up onto the, the third story of the dogolith just like this just to make um, it look a little bit better there we go excellent and now what we need to do is head down oops head down to the second story and just um add the ladders all the way to the top so let's oops those aren't ladders so let's get the ladders um, all the way up to the third level of the dogolith bam oh man this is so awesome i can't believe how high the dogolith is now it is absolutely epic um Oh, did we still have a, a few more open spots on this side? It seems so. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> we needed it. We needed to to heighten the dogolith anyway. We needed it to to give ourselves some more space anyway. So no better time to do it than now, man. On this beautiful bright evening, the sun is coming up. We've got a few spaces open over here. Um, on this side, it looks like it. Yeah, we've got some spaces open on this side. So guys, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the guys from the doggo log onto the doggo lift, and I will bring you back on the other side of this very doggy kaplam, kaplam. All right, guys, we are back in a very awkward position on the doggo lift, and I have added uh, you guys from the doggo log onto the doggo lift. There, you can see on the right, left hand side, um, and on the right hand side welcome to the dogolith all of my friends man that that is uh, that was one epic dogolith entry four new signs added to the dogolith we've extended the dogolith up a little bit too guys this has been a sweet ass episode we're back at the mole hole safe and sound and construction of mole city can now continue look at that looking absolutely epic guys i cannot wait to start the next episode if you've enjoyed this one you know what to do man you hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet you hit that freaking subscribe button i'm gonna get i'm gonna get crazy angry with yes man but check out the dog lift. it is growing what the what the hell what what the jet <laughs> where did this guy come from man that was like the indiana jones of freaking skeletons man damn well, guys, we better get... To, and I've got a freaking arrow in my hand because of that butthole. And an arrow to my bits. Oh, my God. I've taken an arrow to my bits. Guys, I need to go lie down, man. I'm, You know when you get kicked in the bits, man, it does not feel good. Trust me, taking an arrow to the bits is, is way worse. But, guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. Cannot wait to see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye!